morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Running around. Bed's not made. Bed's never made. Oh, we did not unpack from yesterday. Ah, bad lighting. We didn't unpack from yesterday. Have a bed in the living room that we need to sell. Oh, we, uh, the entire family's in the car. Okay, where did I put my shoes? Oh, there. Poke it up back. Okay, here we go, here we go. Ah! Doing the mostest, and I'm not even the hostess. The fam bam, well bam, is already in the car. Where are my, I think my flip flops are in the car. Okay, taking this blanket with me. Look at this cute blanket I bought on our trip. Okay, kids are in the car. We are on the way to soccer practice. Yeah! And I'm running late, in case you don't know. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Just kidding, huh? Get one for Jonah. Okay, apparently, we're not running late because they're not even packed and loaded. You know what, it gives me a chance to go pee really quickly. Silas, did you pack your water bottle? Yeah, it is for you. Jonah made it. But, all right guys, I guess it wasn't that dramatic for me to get out the door. I did, not I had my hair in a braid yesterday to get apart. And this is what it looks like. It actually looks like I made an attempt to do this, but I didn't. It is 8.44. It's not even early in the morning. I don't even know why I ran late. Technically not running late. I'm the only one that thinks we're running late. It starts at 9 o'clock. It's 8.45 now. And really bright. But I know that Silas plays first and his team usually, well any team, they warm up when they get there. So he's just not going to have a chance to do that, which is okay. But one of these days we're going to get it together and get there at 8.45 and not leave the house at 8.45. The thing of it is, is that it's almost clear across town for us and I know people drive further from us to get to the soccer complex. It's a really nice complex. It's actually beautiful and it's not even, it's actually fairly new. It's got to be less than five years old though, right? Give or take. Slightly older than that, but less than 10 for sure. Give or take. So it's not a super old one and it's not a super new one, but I will say that it's a super nice one. So this morning we have two games. We have one for Jonah. We don't have a game for Jonah. This morning we have two games. We have one for Silas, starts at 9, and then Malachi's actually starts at 9.45. So wish us luck on how we're going to divide and conquer. I just wish little things like this was looked at before the game started because what parent wouldn't want to watch both of their kids play, you know? But it is what it is. And then little side note on Mr. Jonah. How come you don't play soccer? I don't know. Do you want to? No, not really. Okay. Not even later? Not, not another season? Mm -mm. No. So he actually has... You probably, yeah, you guys actually have already seen this video, but he has his own time with me. We went to Target and he bought some stuff. You guys have already, you already know that if you are watching this video. But I try to do something special with him to accommodate his hobbies and stuff. So Malachi's out to get his mind off of it. He's not sad about it. He just didn't want to play soccer and I'm definitely not going to make him do something that he doesn't want to do. So that's that. And then also my in-laws, my Grammy, Jonah's Grammy is planning on taking you where, buddy? Uh, I think it's the museum. Yeah, so they're going to do their own thing to where if he doesn't want to come to his brother's soccer game, he's not going to come to their soccer game. So... All right, guys, let's get to the game for now. <laughs> if you've never watched a six-year-old play soccer, you are missing out on life. Like, well, I should say my six-year-old. <laughs> they were going, like, to go make a goal and something happened along the way <laughs> Silas literally fell on the ground and like ducked and tucked <laughs> get it get inside get the ball Silas is number five get the ball get it get it side 
Wait, what are we doing? He's um, playing defense, and then coach keeps asking you, hey, you gotta stay back, you know, oh. and he keeps going to the ball. I thought he stopped to go talk to her. No, <laughs> the coach keeps telling him, like, you gotta stay here, you're the, your defense, bro. He's having a full conversation, that's me, I'm like, oh, sorry, were we playing? The fact that he's not sucking his thumb on the field, that's all I need. <laughs> no, he's not. He's biting his finger. Don't let the ball go in the goal, Gordy. They're adorable. Look at how much moving he's doing. All right, we got this down. He came back. Get the ball side, go, go, go! Brian's dad made it also. What are you playing? Sudoku? So Jonah finished it and Grandpa's checking his answers. Silas's team is on halftime way over there. We have an empty seat here because Ryan left to take Malachi to do warm ups. This guy over here, your team won today? Now we're at Kai's game. He's the goalie for right now. He's in red. I don't know if we can see him very well. Malachi's no longer goalie. We've switched sides. And he's over here. Look at him paying attention. Looking sharp, Kai! Here comes the team. Alright, Malachi! Alright! I've been through heartaches, I've been to heaven. I've done my best Malachi. and my worst. There you go! Way to go! You're good at me! Guys, game's over. Here comes Malachi. Oh, you got a snack. Oh, you got a Gatorade? Are you happy? This kid loves Gatorade and anything orange, huh? Brian's dad came to watch Silas and Malachi play and also 
My sister-in-law came to watch us in Malachi play. Ryan brought the car from the parking lot over to pick us up, so we wouldn't have to walk very far. We have a broken ankle person, not broken, <laughs> but sprained ankle person back here, so we're delivering her back to her car. Ryan and I are taking the twins with us to the church. We have like a volunteer thing that we're needing to do at the church today. And Silas is going to go with my sister-in-law. He is gonna take a shower and he's gonna take a nap. And we are gonna come home and join him shortly. Where's your car, Marco? Right at the gate. Right where that big gate is when you go in. Oh, it's a good parking under a tree and everything. Mm -hmm. All right, Gorney, pay attention. Go straight to the car. I love you. Right there. Wait until mommy gets out and then she's gonna get you out. Wait, Silas, wait until mommy comes to your door. The weather's been so crazy. It is Feb Saturday, March 26th and it is warm already, but it wasn't earlier. Just don't know what to wear anymore. Anyway guys, we just got here to the church and we are going to, the boys are just gonna play because they're not needed. Silas, like I said, is already at home um, doing his own thing, which includes a nap. Leaving you guys in the car, I'll check with you guys later. Okay, clearly I'm back home in case you guys can't tell. Well, actually, probably can't tell. I look like I'm in my car still, but came home really quickly because I was given a break from the interview. The next time I need to go back is two o'clock and it's like one something right now, but I have all this stuff in the car still from the trip, like sweaters and things that the boys had and blankets, so all this pile here that I would really, really, really like to put in the wash. So I got the sand out of them. Throw those in the, in the wall, I was gonna say sand. Throw them in the wash. I have some masks that I no longer need, so I'm gonna throw those away. It's 20, it's uh, mid-March already, and we no longer need masks in the state of California. But I also don't need the sweater anymore. I'm getting really, really warm. But I'm just gonna clean up a few things, start a load of laundry, and then head back into um, the thing that we're volunteering for. It's actually a pretty neat program. They are a bunch of kids from different states actually and they have been like working on interviewing skills and uh, so far I can only speak on the interviewing skills and I am one of the judges for it. So I actually, the program that it is, it's um, Institute for Cultural Communications Forensic Society. So ICCFC and I am one of the judges on it and I was able to just sit there and look at these three interviewers along with two other judges actually four interviewers along with along with three other judges and basically critique them rate them and give them positive and negative feedback to see how they were doing that was kind of fun for me but since i have a break i'm gonna clear up this car really quickly and then get going the boys actually ended up leaving the church they my sister-in-law was able to pick them up and bring them home so they're over at their friend emmy and adela's house which is our friend tyler and elsa's house just around we all went to the beach together and did Pismo and now everybody's back kind of like relaxing and doing their own thing but everybody's distributed in the family. Silas is taking a nap, my sister-in-law's at the house, I'm doing laundry, Ryan's still at the church and the boys are playing. If I begin to show you guys the amount of sand I am working with, you'd be surprised. I picked up a whole bunch of clothes and then I picked up just random stuff in the car also and I just took it to uh, the laundry room and the house and then on top of that I took like bottles and things like that and I had like tried to do that one dramatic trip right like where I hold like 87 things in my hand to avoid two trips well just on the way back I was like I went like this and I feel like my lips are now exfoliated because of the sand that was like all over my face from just picking it up I got a nice sand scrub so I'm ready to go. Dang it, my door is open. Oh, worst day ever. I gotta get all the way out to go close it. Ah! Okay, maybe it wasn't as bad as I made it seem to be, but here it is. Problem solved. I am done with my volunteer duties for today. What a great opportunity it was to be able to serve. A whole bunch of children. They are students and they are learning interviewing skills. One of the other things that I was a part of was I was one of the judges for the cultural storytelling and my goodness, 
the hardest part of today was giving them negative feedback because I'll be honest with you guys, there was close to none. Currently, I am at the car wash place. I'm going to run my car through the car wash, grab this call, and head back home to the kids. This kid and that kid are going with me. Um, wait, do I, I might have to cut my hair like this. Shorter? I don't want to go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't want to. Okay, we'll do a better hard part on it then, okay? All right, but you have to, Malachi, you have to be able to prove to me that you're gonna keep your hair together and not all messed up. Did you tell her to stop? Did you tell her to stop? Run, get in the car. Malachi does not want to get his hair to get his hair any shorter. He doesn't want to shorten his hair, but he does not take care of it. So, what would you do as a parent? Bad lighting. We'll talk later. You don't want to cut your hair? You're going to take care of it, Malachi, and make sure it's combed. Okay. I'm going to tell them to do a better like hard part on the side so you can like comb it a little bit better. Not a better one, but a thicker hard part. And then yours, do you like your length or you want it a little bit shorter? Probably. I honestly don't know. Okay, you're not picky, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Except I don't want it bold. <laughs> I love that he's just messing with him and he just allows it. Yeah, Must be a I twin thing, no? Today you were pulling my hair at the soccer game, it hurt my eyes started watering. Really? And you didn't tell me anything? No. Weirdo. I felt good at the same time. I did. Alright, are you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let me see, let me see. It's already messed up, Malachi. <laughs> and then Jonah looks, okay, okay, work it, work it, work it. Oh, we're done working it. Oh wait, a little bit more, work it. We're done working it. Or are we? Yeah, I'm done. Wait, Just kidding. What was he doing? Work it, work it, work it, work it, work it. <laughs> Silly goose. That's your brother. Who invited him, huh? All right, guys, we are done, headed home. The butterfly made him hyper. The butterfly? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the one he was chasing out there. You were a little bit cuckoo snacks back there, or out there, really. Okay, ready, set, let's go home. All right, take your shoes off. We're gonna eat dinner. You too, are you guys new? This kid's been home with my sister-in-law. We're getting ready to eat dinner. Silas, can you end my vlog? It doesn't look like it would bounce really high, right? Yeah, it doesn't. Do it at the floor? Oh wow, that's cool. I love Bye, that you're we'll bouncing. All right, the guy said it. We'll see you next time.